Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got another speculative coin, a CPU type mineable coin uh, called Yentan. We'll see what it is and we'll get into how, how to mine it. See you in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on, guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Got a couple of these videos coming out every week, so you don't want to miss those. I try to get on these coins as soon as possible so that they're uh, easier to mine. You get more coins on them. All right, so let me shrink myself real quick. Slide me up here. All right, here is the website, Yenten, cryptocurrency of the CPU, by the CPU, for the CPU. So it seems like it's just a project geared towards CPU mineable, um, CPU mineable project. Doesn't really have any other information. Um, I guess it's just a type of digital currency to use to transact. Not much other than that. I think it was um, not a fork, but I think it was brought back from Yen Coin, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's Yen Ten. Could be uh, could be mistaken on that, but I think it's just uh, picked up from kind of a dead project. If you go over to their um, coin market cap, you can see it kind of came out the uh, like very beginning of or late end of um, 2017. Went through the big old um, spike there and then floated all the way down here to where, as you can see now, it's. I don't even know what that would be, 0. 0.00003 cents. So anyways, fairly, uh, they just got back, just got back going. Let's go over to Bitcoin talk here. January 17th, they um, just re-announced that they're gonna be on YesScript right now, YesScript R16 algorithm. There's all the information. Again, um, all this will be down below the video, so don't worry about trying to figure out where all this stuff is at. But it looks like they just brought this back um, here recently, brought it back from the dead. I didn't really read too much on this coin. I just noticed that it just come, just come out using that YesScript R16 algorithm and mainly focused on CPUs. I like to do these CPU coins every once in a while because I do have that Core i5 8600K CPU, and I'd like to get my money back on that, if you know what I mean. All right, so with that, let's get into how to mine it. You're going to need the uh, wallet, which is right here. So I downloaded the Win64 Zip. Um, if you got a Linux version, I don't see a Linux version for it, but there maybe one down on this page somewhere but anyways i'm not too concerned about the linux because i don't have linux all right so once you download that let me pull up my nvidia rig you're going to get a um let me minimize all this that's the miner running that's my grin coin running so this is what the wallet looks like um as you can see it's still um still syncing up with the uh with the blockchain there it's a simple basic type of qt wallet nothing big let me minimize that real quick. So once you download that file, you'll get this right here, Yen 10 Win 64. So I just unzipped it and called it Yen 10. You would go into here and then double click on the Yen 10 QT. And that of course is going to give you this. So obviously what we're gonna need out of here is a receiving address. So you would click on receive, which it already is. This is the page you would see uh, when you first open it. So you click on receive, put whatever label you want on it. I mean, they made mine CPU mining right here. You can click on that, click show, and there's your address right there. But if you're building a new one, you would just put your label here and then click request payment, and you would get the same little window that you see here. So you're gonna need this address right there, and you would just play copy address. That's all you would have to do. So let me minimize this. Let me open up my miners folder. So the miner is going to be right here. CPU miner dash OPT. That's the latest version. You would download that, which is right there. Just click on that and it will download it. 
go back over to here, I unzip mine and call it CPU miner opt yen 10 So you would go into here and I will show you the run.bat file, which again is down below this video. So that, you know, this is all you would need. Just basically open up a notepad, copy this information, which again will be down below this video, and then save it as a run dot bat a batch file so the only thing you would need to change in here is of course the pool if you wanted to change to a different pool and more importantly your own wallet address which is right here i name mine you can have a rig identifier core i5 8600k you can leave that blank if you want to no big deal so the miner right here is what it looks like when you get it going pretty basic straightforward type of miner let me stop it real quick and then I will uh, double click on run and see you show you what it looks like when you do that so that's all it is voila easy as that guys sorry the computer is a little bit laggy um, but that's all it does is it pulls up like this we can go over to the um, pool I'm using right here and we can you can see what's going on. Let's click unpause. So I've gotten about 6.9 coins so far on the CPU. There it is, Core i5-8600K. Hash rate dropped off because I just stopped it, but there we should pop back up here in a sec as I've got an accepted share now. You always want to go to the pool. Make sure you have an accepted share. Make sure the miner is being seen by the pool. So that's as easy as it is to mine Yen 10. If you go back over here and scroll down a little bit, you can see that this has been, I think it was as high as a dollar, dollar twenty-nine. That's as high as that's been. So if it ever goes back up, that's a nice little chunk of change off the CPU, and I've already got five. Let me go back. I've already got uh, basically six, no, seven. In about two hours, I've been mining on my CPU. So, obviously, not something you're going to mine right now and sell, but as for me, I'll mine, I'll mine this for a little bit and I'll hold it just like I did web chain. No big deal. And just put it in my bag like I do a lot of the other stuff. Um, real quick update on Grin Mint. A green coin, sorry. So I'm still mining it right here. My NVIDIA rig was offline for a little bit, but you can see I just got it back online a little while ago. Over here on BitMesh, it was down to $2 and something. And now, as you can see right there, it's up to $3.35. Let me hit refresh and see if it's changed anymore. But it had been dropping. It's about 335. I think I saw it as low as about 219 at one point. So it's back up about a dollar. As you can see, it's climbing right here, going up and down. But I think the hype is pretty much gone from this coin. It still is, at least for me, um, good to mine it and convert it into Bitcoin. Let me go back over to GrinMint and scroll back up. So I'm sitting at 0.91 and 0 0.90 right now. So once that hits one, I'll send it over to BitMesh here and sell it off again for some Bitcoin. And then I, of course, transfer that over to my wallet and be done with it. But uh, that's it for uh, Yen 10, guys, and a little bit of update on Grin Coin. If you guys got any questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, with that, I guess, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care.